We've got a pretty nice old roll of Morgan silver dollars here. And I've been wanting to open them up for you guys live for quite some time. Frontier Trust Company, I guess, Fort Fairfield, Maine, $20. There's 20 Morgan dollars in here. I already weighed the roll. It's slightly under what an uncirculated full roll would of these would weigh, just two grams less. So there might be some wear on some of them. You can see there's a little bit wear on this one right here. And that's an 1888 ender. But we do have a CC ender right here. Let's see if we can find anything besides just the CC in here that's a better date or in better condition or even maybe a few vams. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. Like I said in the intro, we've got a full roll of Morgan Silver dollars here. And I want to apologize in advance first. Wearing blue gloves sometimes makes the lighting turn yellow. So you might have some yellowing on these. I won't do the full video with these, with these gloves on and the overhead. I will have the gloves on when I check the coins. But mainly what I'm going to do is open up this roll of Morgan Silver Dollars. In my last video, many of you asked me when I had a short that I opened some Morgan Silver Dollars from where I got it and things like that. This particular roll right here was up for auction and um, I ended up winning it for just a few dollars over 1400. Now with 20 Morgan dollars, that means we paid on average $70 a Morgan. That would be what you'd wanna spend if you're buying some nicer common date BU ones. But we know we have a CC Ender right here. And of course, as you know, with any auction, when there's a CC Ender, that's gonna drive the price up. But either way, we paid an on average 70 bucks. So if we can get this Morgan dollar to be in that 250 to 350 range, that means we still have about $1,100 for the other 19. And that drives the price down to about $60 or less per Morgan. And that'll make it a little bit more easy to stomach if there's nothing nice in the roll. I don't wanna waste a lot of your time jibber jabbering like I always do. I'm gonna open this roll live in front of you. I'm not gonna save the paper, or at least not gonna try to save the paper. I don't wanna scratch any of the coins. The main thing is, I just want to get it open, take a look at the dates, see if we have any better ones other than the CC, and then I will check them for any of the valuable VAMs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack into this, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I think it's probably best just to peel up under here. Maybe that might be the best. Again, I don't want to damage anything, and I'm not too worried about the roll not being intact. I'm not keeping the roll. It doesn't mean anything to me. All right. Looks like we can get this open just like this. We're going to start it like that and take a quick peek at the first ender, which should be the CC. Yeah, we've got a CC ender. What year is it? And it's 1884. You know, it's not a bad looking uh, CC. It does have a little bit of contact mark, but that's definitely an uncirculated one, maybe slightly circulated, or maybe just a little bit of wear on the end from being on the end roll. But either way, that's a nice looking CC. I'm gonna run through these really quick, just on camera, and then we're gonna take a look at them for any vans. All right, we've got an 1889 Philly, that is a common Morgan. An 1890 Philly, that's common as well. An 1880 Philadelphia, definitely not uh, anything special. We do have a first year issue 1878 right here, but it's a Philadelphia as well. And we got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tail feathers. So it's the second design. 1881 O, slightly better. 1883 Philly, that's pretty common. 1882 O, fairly common as well. Let me just go ahead and squeeze the rest of these out of here. Again, apologize for the yellowing. That will go away when I switch the camera. 1888 Philly. 1896 Philly. 1901 O. Not bad, but still fairly common in lower grades. A second 1901, oh, sorry. 1891 S, that's a slightly better date. 1891 S, we'll take that. 
1901 O yet again. 1882 Philly Common. 1887 O. That's actually a slightly better date. 1883 Philly it's Common. 1880 O. Maybe a little bit better of a date. 1881 O. Again, slightly better. And 1884 P. So. Most of this stuff is fairly common. There's a few coins that look like they have been dipped before. I'll have to see them under the unartificial lighting, but it looks like we might have a couple of coins that could have been dipped. And ironically, and probably coincidentally, the one that's in the best shape is the end coin, the 1884 CC. Now that we've done that, let me go ahead and flip that one up and I'm gonna go ahead and check these for any VAMs. And I'll be back to tell you what I found. And I also will give you guys values based on what their conditions are to see if we got back our $1,400 that we spent. All right, I've gone through all the Morgans. We do not have any VAMs. This is the CC right here. You know, I told you that a lot of them look like they could have been cleaned. After close inspection, just a couple of them looks like they may have been dipped. Uh, the luster is not exactly intact and it's pretty brilliant as far as the coloring and the wear so i think some of these may have been dipped at some point but overall there's still a really nice assortment of morgans my favorite non-cc morgan was this 1888 it does have original mint luster it does look pretty nice overall a little bit of wear on the back but definitely a higher au and when i put it under the scope it does have a pretty nice die clash right there and it looks like the fish hook on the 1904 oh, I believe, but there is no fish hook uh, VAM or at least none recognized by PCGS for 1888. Still probably adds a little value just because it's a cool die clash. Outside of that, really no better dates um, other than slightly above common. Most of these are common. We did get those three 1901 O's. That one looks like it's been cleaned. This one looks like it may have been dipped and uh, again, a lot of them look better than they should for the wear they have. I wish they were in more original condition. Really no toning on any of them other than the original looking one right here, the 1888. And then of course the 84cc, I took a peek at it. You know, it's really nice overall, probably a MS64 obverse, but there is a little bit of damage on the Eagle's breast, a little, sl a little heavier slide mark, I should say. And I think that's probably a 61 or a 62 reverse. So net of this one, I'm just going to call it a 62 net. It could be a 63, but I'm going to call it a 62 net. And based on what I saw in here, I have a breakdown here. I think I have three probably worth about 60 bucks, eight worth 50, seven worth 55, one worth 65, and I'm going to just be conservative on that CC and call it 350. Some of them have sold for more than 400 plus but some have sold at 61, MS61, for around 300. So we're gonna meet it in the middle and call it 350. Total value, if I were to walk in and handpick all of these Morgans, what I would expect to pay probably is around 1,380. And I think I paid just over 1,400. So we didn't get taken on it. We actually didn't do bad. And of course, some of these might fetch a few dollars more or a few dollars less, but overall, got about the value that I put into the roll. And of course, this was the main one. And again, it is nice enough. Probably won't beat my registry, but outside of that, that's probably the best find. And I like that one as well. I know there's not much to talk about. I was hoping to cherry pick a VAM or something, but no, no VAMs here, none to speak of. Hopefully, despite the lack of fines, you guys still had fun taking a look at all these Morgan dollars with me. And I do again want to apologize for the yellowing of the color of the camera you can see it's not doing it now it does it just when i look at it straight down on the overhead view i don't know why it likes to do that but either way if you had fun i'd appreciate that thumbs up and as always everyone happy hunting happy stacking and thanks for watching